Yes, I love reefers. So I can warm with my live fish. So it's not this bright out. It looked that bright, but it's starting to get dark. I left my house at like 12 o'clock today. And now I'm coming home and it's like seven. Uh, seven hours out. But three days I couldn't say no to, so uh, yeah. I I'll travel for the deals. I definitely travel for the deals. I'll show you when I get home. I'm almost home. Give me like 10 minutes, but yeah. Oh man. Got some goodies up in the box. I tell you that. <laughs> Before my little giddy journey home, this was uh me at the fish store. Didn't want to say anything, so I'm speaking over the video because I was nervous. But uh yeah, this guy was uh looking up the anthias for me. So he's just there uh, looking at them. Got some cool fish here, some blue ribbon eels. I think that's a moray eel, dwarf moray eel maybe, looks kind of small. Naso tang, mabalimi tang there. Uh, Harlequin tusk fish. There's another naso tang. Uh, I'm not sure what's in there. It's a dead naso tang. Uh, there's a blonde naso tang by the way, but yeah, that one's dead. So I'm saying, some of these tanks don't look the greatest. And then that one fish right there, I didn't know what that was. I asked, I didn't think he knew what it was either. Some uh, anthias in here, another put of powder brown. I think it's a, a butterfly fish, not a copper band. They had some other copper bands in these other, this other side. That's a, an eel of some sort, I don't know what it could be. Yeah, powder blues, some damsels, clownfish. There's some uh, more clownfish up here. There's the copper band, some uh, firefish. There's dory, uh, some more clownfish. That dory is there. I think that was 80 bucks for those. It's kind of small. Some uh, damselfish. That one I think was a, a butterfly fish. I'm not sure. I'm not into butterfly fish because they're not really safe. That one there, I think that's a flagfish. The white and black one. This one again is an angel, but look at the eyes on this one. It has a you know, pop eye. Or, but yeah, that's the shop. Here's uh, here's the box I got for my shop. I got my box of goodies. You guys wanna see what's inside? Let me show ya. Take off the seat. So I ran around to three places today. I met one guy for a torch coral. The same place I got all these fish. But this is what I got from the guys, a torch coral. I think I picked it up for, I think it was, what, 75? And it's a really nice, it's like orange. I think the picture he showed me, maybe a little orange. I, I, he sent me a video, I'll throw up the video. Uh, in the in this video that he sent me because it doesn't really look you know, it's not open and it's not gonna look as color because I don't have the blue right so it won't pop as much as it popped in his tank but I'm gonna float this guy for now need to get my my finger in here Some probably thrashing around. And maybe he settles in the corner. Yeah. Oh, look, it looks like he has a it's gonna split almost as like ready to get two heads. You can see like the that meat behind him, and on the top, you can kind of see it, it, it's big, right? So, usually, they're like almost in the middle, that's how big like a head is. So it looks like it's getting big enough to split itself. So that's good. Almost got like a two for one right there. And then, back to my box of goodies here. I'm gonna put, show you another coral. And this is a colony of uh, hammers. Which I picked up, I think, for like $100. And I was like, what? You said I've had 12 or 13 heads. So yeah, that's a deal. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't say no again. So 
It's just uh, nothing special. Just you know, a green uh, hammer, green, green of purple tips. Kind of see, kind of see there. So I'm gonna try them all and see. What I want to do, I want to start fragging, right? So this is perfect for fragging. So maybe I can recuperate some of my my funds or fund the rest of the tank, you know? <laughs> hobby gets expensive sometimes, but you can supplement it with, you know, you can always trade stuff, sell stuff, you know? So it's, it is expensive, yes, but it's, it's once you're in it and you know, you kind of have like, like a, almost like an inventory, you know what I mean? Like you can just say, okay, here, like I'm gonna pick this up and uh, I trade you for here. Cause you have, it has, it all has value, you know what I mean? If somebody wants this and somebody wants that, so it it is what it is, right? And now let me show you what I got. So remember what I was saying to you guys that I wanted Antias. Well, look what I got. I got Antias. I got, uh, what was there here? Five of them. So I think there were 35 each at the store. And I was like, ah. I think he, he, I didn't talk him down. He just kind of gave me a deal. I was, uh, 140 for five of them. I don't know how much of a deal it was, but. 35 for five. 30 is, 30 by five is. 150, five, well, so I got a little bit of a deal. But I'm look. I was as I'm looking online because when I was there, I, he told me these were uh, tricolor antias. But when I looked, I just looked online and uh, like while I was there, and the tricolor antias looked nothing like this. So we were just kind of like talking and trying to figure out. There's another reefer that came down, and uh, he asked him. I guess he knew him. I didn't. I didn't know who he was, but uh, he, and then he was sitting there like looking them up, and uh, then uh, he said he figured out what they were. They're uh, two spot antheas or bimaculate antheas, and uh, when I was looking at them like online, they're like uh, what a hundred to like hundred and forty for one. So I don't know what kind of. I definitely got a deal on these guys. I can't say no to that one. So there's five in here. I got five for for, for, for one. I was about these online. Ugh. I would have spent a fortune to get five, but I did not. Oh, this guy's this guy's leaking. See, okay, it's a small leak. But yeah, these guys are pretty big. They had another. Uh, I recorded a video, so there's a. I didn't talk because I was nervous to be in the store, I just recorded, but uh, yeah, they had another, I was, I was contemplating between the two, the Larry Larry tail and these two, the two spot. But then uh, after I was looking at the Larry tail, all, there was four uh, Larry tail, all of them were males. So I don't want to pick up four males. I don't know if they revert back, back to females. I know they're hermaphrodites, so maybe they probably do, but I didn't want that like fighting you know, while they sort out the pecking order, I don't, I don't really want that. I, these are, looks like the, they are females because the two spot, the males look a more orange. I mean orange, very red. And I don't really see uh, lots of like red on any of these, but they will change, so. These guys are jumpy. It's a good thing I have a lid on them. Oh my tank, look at these guys, super jumpy. And I asked him. I asked him to uh, to feed them for me while while I was there. Uh, he put some mice in the tank. So it's got a lot of stuff floating. But yeah, it, they ate nice. They they not act very active. I was staring at them for a while because some of the tanks don't look too good. But there was no. I don't really see much in that the tank that they were in. I know it's all one system, but there wasn't any dead fish in there. There all every fish was active. There was wasn't any like uh, chunks taken out of their fins or anything. So I was. I was looking, I was looking, inspecting really. 
But yeah, I'm happy. I finally got my Antheas. And hopefully these guys uh, school like, like the, like the Threadfin uh, Cardinal Fish. Yeah, that's the last. Number five. I wonder which one of these guys will turn into the male. But yes, these guys are freaking out. Freaking out. I'm gonna float them for a couple of men, uh, maybe like half an hour. Just get the temperature the same. And then I'm just gonna throw them in the tank. I'm gonna, they look a little stressed out, so maybe I'll do like 15, 20 minutes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of the water out of the bag and now I'm not gonna drip acclimate them. I'm just gonna kinda like throw a little bit of water in the bag, you know, maybe like five, 10 minutes to kinda acclimate them. But I don't wanna drip, I don't wanna have them too long because They've already been in these bags. What time did I get these fish? Like two o'clock, two, 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 maybe three o'clock. I, I, I bought these fish and he, and he put them in the box, bagged them out. And uh, it's now what, eight o'clock? So I don't want to keep them in these bags for very much longer. So yeah, I'm gonna let these, and then these guys, same thing. I'm just gonna let the temperature go for maybe like 10, 15 minutes when I have, when I have these guys. And then I'll throw them in the tank. I'm gonna throw these guys maybe in the middle here somewhere. I don't want them to be like thrashed around so hard as soon as they come out. Yeah, this guy's looking, already looking happier. So yeah, I'm, just, uh, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, let me float these guys, and then uh, I'll be back when I throw them in the tank. And then I'll feed the tank when I throw them in. So there's no fighting or anything like that. Everybody gets fed, everybody's happy. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so <clears throat> I had these guys floating for maybe uh, 20 minutes. Threw them back in here because it's easier for me to one hand this and film at the same time. But let us take out my first Anthea. If I can grab him, this guy's all the way in the corner. Maybe my contraption is not the best. Come on. I don't wanna. Uh, hurt him. Just gently in the neck. Gently into the net. Come on. Come on. It's just trying to go right into the corner. Okay, what about now? You're gonna be a little better. I don't wanna hurt you. Come on, stop stuffing yourself in the corner. I don't know what to do here. Come on, buddy. Back up. There you go. And in the net. Yes. Okay. Don't be a jumper. Don't be jumping on me now. Okay, 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 okay. 
que... In the water you go. How's your breathing? How are you doing? for like four hours but six I don't know I don't like that I don't like that Stop watching him. Maybe, maybe I'll get better. Let's try another one. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong right now. I know drip acclimation, but I didn't want them in these bags for another like hour. So, try to do it a little fast. I was uh, putting some water in the bags, as you know, like every like five minutes. So they had a little, you know, a little bit. It was fast i didn't they weren't like breathing heavy or anything in the tank oh this guy yeah okay i'm just gonna go gently just gently into the net i don't want to stress you out too much okay yeah that's good we're good okay come on up up i just clipped off the video there he is Looking better. He's breathing. I don't know. Uh, I hope these guys are good. Okay, third one. Let's see how easy it is to scoop up. Don't want to scoop any of that black sand. Oh, you don't like that, do you? You're running it the other way, aren't you? No. Nope. Okay. Can we go into the net? Are we in the net? No. No. And this is why I can't work at a fish store, guys. I, I, I'm no good at catching fish. Absolutely terrible. Doing this one-handed is definitely handicapping me, but I'm still bad. <laughs> oh, there we go. In the net. Okay. Yep. There you are. Come on out. And in the tank you go. Okay, that one's swimming back there. He's swimming. Maybe he's just stressed more than the rest of them. Let me set myself here. Maybe I'll just turn this box. Okay, fourth one going in. There he goes, he's in the thing. It's a good thing there's water in here. Yep, use a feisty one, aren't you? All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. And out you go. You look a lot better. 
Oh yeah. So you want someone around already? Okay, I like that. Okay, so he might be just a little stressed out. It's gonna be a male. Colorations are different than the other ones. It's a little purple on the top. Hopefully uh he survives. Okay, last one. Alright guys. Woo, these guys man, they are crazy. Jumping all over the place. Come on, get in the net. There you go. Are you in? Yeah, he's in. Okay, please. Come out of the bag. Oh, he jumped into another bag through the opening, wow, wow. I mean, it's better than on the floor, so. Hopefully you're not as difficult as the other one was in this bag. Oh, look, where are you going? Right to the same spot, nice. This is just not a good bag, huh? Come on, maybe I heard him in this bag, that's what happened, so let's try and move him. Yeah. This way is better. Jumping, no jumping, no jumping, no jumping, no jumping. There we go. All five are in the tank. Yeah, these, I don't know. He's still, he's okay. I don't want to. Disturb him, so I'm just gonna leave him be. Maybe I turn off the lights. There's one in the crevice of this rock there. Another one with the others. That's three that I see. Yeah, I see his head peeking out. Yeah. yeah, that's one, two, three. I don't see another one. I have two more in here, supposedly. I don't know if that's the same one. So there's one there. Yeah, that is the same one. These guys are blue eyes came back maybe it's just like a stress thing yeah i don't see them yeah maybe they they're hiding somewhere i don't know i'll, I'll feed the tank maybe and see if they come out i don't know if i should feed the tank or put the lights down or both but yeah i don't these three it's not like I have crazy crazy cave structures so I don't know well uh feed them leave them be and uh, we'll see come back in a couple minutes and see how the tank looks These guys, this guy's still on the bottom. The 
Look up, focus on them. Still going, still breathing, so that's good. And his eyes moving. So maybe you just gotta give him some time. A little incentive, I'll feed them and see. Yeah, let me go get some food and see. Okay, so I just gave him some food. He hasn't moved. That guy hasn't moved from in the rock. The guy with the group, I don't even know where he went. Nobody else is coming out. So, I don't know, hopefully give it a few more minutes, but I don't see these guys. And I want to. Yeah, nothing. Oh, and I put my hammer colony in. It's not happy, happy, but it's not mad, so just wait it to extend a bit. Colors aren't too bad, just considering what light is under. And then this is the torch coil. Yeah, looks brown, right? Because the lights, but. I'll put that video, that video, man, that, it looks way better than this. And I'm, it was extended a lot more. The, the tentacles weren't like super stringy, like you know, you usually see torches. They're more like a little fatter, like how you see now, but just longer. So, let's see how that looks later. This guy always goes after all the food. When he does, this guy goes, this guy goes camel mode. Oh yeah, look. Okay, so, I found all of them. There's one, there's two, three is there's three in there if you can see his you can kind of see his tail four is under that rock i can't really get to him and the fifth one is right there person the canopy yeah these guys blue's coming back a bit so i don't know it's, it comes and goes i guess you can see the blue on him focus on him a bit yeah but i turned the lights off to kind of get them a little more custom. Yeah, there you go. There's one of them. And uh, I just turned on like my night light, the LED. And yeah, those guys are, their eyes are popping. So it wasn't just him. So I was like, okay, I need to get the lights and they're all be nice. But yeah, these guys are doing well. Happy, healthy, flowing. This guy doesn't look the greatest, but he's open. And uh, he's very annoyed with the thing. I moved him from the top because it was getting blasted. And one side was good, but one side was shriveled. And then I dropped him. So he's not happy with me. Yeah, they're all just kind of hiding, chilling. I can count five, so I'm not, I'm not worried. I see... Uh, the leopard wrasse I didn't see for like a week and a half when I first got them. So as long as I can look in my tank and see them, then it's, you know, I'm not worried. I'm, I would love to see them in the column, but they gotta kind of be comfortable first and then, you know, they'll come out. So uh, it's, it's good. I like it. I like it. First couple corals in there. First colony, really. Obviously it's the hammer. I want this to grow. Well, I want a, I want a nice euphilia garden. You, this is euphilia. I think they changed this. This is now a different. The torches are just by themselves. They're not euphilias. They're something else. So but I think it's just them. Oh look, he's coming out. There you go. There's one. Well, he peeked out. The rest of them are 
Chilling, I don't see this guy anymore. Oh, he's way back there. Hope he's fine. He looks like he's like wedged back there. I can't really see him because it's so dark, but. Yeah, for now, it's the tank. That's where all the action happens, right here. So, but this is, this is a, this is my view. Hold on, let me, let me show you guys my view. This <laughs> is when I sit on my couch. So it's perfect spot. I can still see them right there. Uh, yeah, look, he's out. Yeah, I can still see them. Zaza can still see them. Uh, yeah. Over there, I can't really see not so much. But that's just uh, the feed gym. This. Awesome. And then this, with this being so big, me having my TV here, because I don't really have a big TV, <laughs> I have it here instead. Super close, because if not, it will be... I wouldn't even be able to like see anything. I don't really watch TV or anything. If I watch something, I watch on my phone. But if I play games or anything, you know, then I can't. It's too far. This just takes. It just. I don't know. It just offsets everything. So what I, I guess over here, I get a TV to fit as big as I can. I think it's like 60 inches. I can't even fit anything bigger than that. Maybe 70, but yeah, that's that's it. So it's my TV, anyways. Better shows, soap operas, you know, beefs, growths, uh, redemption arcs. I still, have, I, I still haven't picked this guy up, but he, he'll have his redemption arc. But yeah, just sitting on my couch and I caught them. See? Schooling in the front. And then one of the antias he's been out he's been out living in uh the current goes from there to the back but stays around this rock here but yeah he's pretty good and then the one that's under the canopy there the valimi tang he uh he kind of went up to it a few times so i think he's like sh very shy and because he went right back into the rock very quick so they just i guess they're just feeling out the tank yeah, the school. I love the school, man. I love the school. I hope, I hope these guys, the Antios, do the same thing. Maybe these guys do it over there. Oh, I love that school here, school here. Oh yeah. But yeah, I was just sitting on my couch and I seen them come out, so I wanted to pick up my phone quickly and record them. Show you guys. That they do school in the front. Not just stay back there all day. But yeah, they come out. Most of my fish are in this this corner right now. I don't know. Maybe they don't. It's because of him over here right now. But yeah, they, they don't really stay together like this in this corner alone. If, if they're schooling here, they'll you know come out a bit and stay. So... Everybody's feeling each other out right now. So it's a stalemate. <laughs> Say, so who's this guy? Well, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. But yeah, thought that was cool. Well, guys, one of them has uh, passed away. It wasn't his fault. He's just picking at the. Uh, the remains, I guess. He was caught on the WP-40. So, I'm upset. I'm upset at the last one. I was looking, I was counting today, and there were only six. So I'm like, what the hell? So, you, like I said, they're usually, like, here, like, you know? So, I don't know what happens. So, I'm like, oh, okay. I'll just, uh, like, check all the crevices and stuff. So, I was checking all the rocks and everything. And I didn't, I wasn't until I'm like looking like, I'm like on the ground looking and I looked up underneath the bottom of the WP-40 and I seen this like, 
it looked like uh like just like clear or like white like you know like a film on it i'm like what the heck is that so kind of look closer i'm like no way so then i just turned it on to feed mode my the wp40 so it's on, it's on feed mode right now so then it just dropped and yeah it was as i expected but i don't know I'm hoping he just kind of got caught in the, you know, in the pump maybe. And he wasn't bullied by this guy because he looks like he has a taste for them. I don't know why this tang is so damn, this tang's crazy, man. But a circle of life, I guess. It's not, he's not going to waste, so. But I thought it might be these guys, the and my new Antheus, but I, they just kind of, stay amongst themselves and just bully themselves which they do uh they do kind of stay together and close not sure like these guys which that's why i'm upset i lost another one it's four i've lost now so i don't know i want to i want maybe a, maybe if it's a a big group then you know nothing no, nothing not not a lot bad would happen. I don't know. I'm lost for words right now. But maybe they're, you know, like protected in numbers. So maybe I can get some more. But yeah, I really, I really like these guys. And then I seen on uh, one Facebook group, a uh, guy selling um, a breeding pair of pajama cardinals. So I wanted to maybe, I might have a breeding pair of antheas. How about, uh, I wanted to maybe keep them in here, the pajama cardinals, or throw them over here or something, I don't know. Maybe have them in their own tank, but I don't want, if I decide to move them back over here, my, well, it'll be easier in this tank than this tank. So maybe I'll just throw them in here, see if they breed. But yeah, I just kind of quickly wanted to show you guys that, because uh, that was upsetting. Oh, yeah, poor guy. I just fed these guys too. I just fed them. I just fed them, and that's why I was, that's why I was looking. I'm like, maybe he's hiding, and he'll come out now. So I just fed them. I just put some. I put some garlic. I had some uh, Vitacam for like the fins and stuff. Cause I noticed some of the thread fins. Maybe it's just because of the split, and it's just kind of weirding me out. But like I noticed some of their fins were kind of like thrashed. I don't really see it now. This guy. Just like a little bit. Not like, you know, nothing crazy. I'm just kind of nitpicking now. But just kind of like staring at them, you know, investigating all the fish. Yeah, I gave them some guard. Okay, so I was doing some research on these guys. And you see that red on his tail? That comes. So these guys are, what are they? Marci Marcias Antheas. I want to say the scientific name, but I was looking it up. I'll, maybe I'll put the video or a link to it or something, a picture up to actually confirm what I'm saying. But yeah, I was looking at them because the, the bimacul bimaculate to spot uh, Antheas. <clears throat> they don't look the same like he doesn't have the that red bar so I was just kind of looking on what was it uh, I think it was reef central or reef to reef one form but it was saying that uh, yeah the, the red that comes on his tail when he does like the flashing and stuff watch okay start flashing for the for the females and the red will show up on his tail like a red triangle He was doing it early. He was like dipping up and down and up and down. So I started recording. I was trying to capture it. But I can kind of see the red on his tail. I'll leave you guys for now. That's my, my crazy, crazy updates. This video's been... Uh, last two videos, really, just been like very choppy. Because my phone... 
has been uh, cutting out the video. So I've had to like record like three, four, five, six, seven videos. Like 30 seconds each or, you know, like a, a minute each and then like splice them together. But I don't know, maybe I gotta like uh, clean up some of my files because some of these videos are getting very large. I gotta transfer them, but because I, I don't want to delete the videos, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should. All my YouTube videos, they're archived on YouTube, so I don't think I need them, right? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I get like a laptop and throw them on there or something. Well, I'm just rambling now, but yeah, that's the tank. That's the update. That's the refugium. That's the sump. That's my box. All right, guys. See you later, or I see you next time. Bye.